I'm Hailey Bieber. And I'm Kemi Sharia. And we're here with Elle to share our five and fives. fives. I just came off a 14 hour flight, so I'm- And looking fresh as a daisy. Trying, I'm in know. dire need of like moisture and everything. And I've obviously got the best person to tip me on all things glaze. Glazed. Is that the one? Absolutely. I am obsessed obviously with your peptide glazing fluids. This was a coincidence, by the it way. It was. We both chose our five and five, <laughs> and I walked in, and this was part of her five, which made me very, very happy. This is like a gel hybrid serum, and I wanted to do something that was like light but dewy and really hydrating and just. Do you use it as a? Do you use it as a highlight? Yeah, so that's what or? I was gonna do. I mean, I kind of already have done my little routine today. I just like to sometimes take the peptide glazing fluid and like lay it over like a highlight, just for that like kind of skin finish, the yeah. dewiness. I also always mix this with my foundation when I'm doing my makeup. Ah, see, I haven't done that yet. Okay, that's a little tip. tip. Pour une peau velouté. Oh, I could not try to pronounce it like that. My <laughs> French is tragique. <laughs> I brought um, Les Mains Hermes, which is the new little um, cuticle oil mm. from Hermes. Put it over my cuticles. So um, nice. I'm so... As I was smell. saying before, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's so nice. It's really light and it really helps like keep your fingers hydrated. I mean, I have really bad blood circulation, so everything gets really dry mm. all the time. We all know like a good hand cream, like it doesn't really matter. Exactly. They're all amazing, but this but is special. Cuticle oils are underrated. Underrated, cuticle I think products. so too. And it makes you feel very grown up when you remember to put your cuticle oil. <laughs> I feel like I've really done something to do myself, Cam. Okay? Like, yes, good, good. You're like, I did my cuticle yeah, oil. I'm a grown up. I'm a grown up. I really love this Chanel highlighter right now. I like anything that kind of can just give like, bring a little bit of life to the face and like, it's just a pop and it's easy to apply and it's not too like, fuss. I don't know if it's because I'm French, but, well it's, it's not, that's not why, because loads of French girls love blush. I've always been so scared of blush. Right. Because I'm scared of looking too girly. Like I get this thing where yeah. like, I feel like, but recently I've been trying more and more. Um, well I feel like this is nice because it's, let me give it a go. It's pretty iridescent. It's exactly what I need after my 12 hour flight. Also that concept of like, when you've been on the plane, but you want to just like put a little zhuzh of something for when you're, you know, yeah. getting off the plane and landing and you I feel- I say, for when all the photographers are waiting for me. Like, like a that. disaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, French again. Um, Lancôme Génifique Dieu Light Pearl. I don't know why I'm saying the names as if I'm a you professional. Um, it's for the eyes. It's for under the eyes and it helps yes. also like, the wrinkles. I'm a bit older than you, so I have to think about these things quite a lot now. And I'm starting to think about them now. It's really nice to have a product that you can, again, apply really easily throughout the day. Yeah. Um, I don't wear that much makeup during the day unless I've got something yeah. that I'm doing. So I try to think about things that I can, you know, apply on my face to keep like that freshness. And Super then people chic. will be surprised when they see me moving because I actually look a lot better. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do my third, but it kind of goes, my third and fourth goes together. And this is a little, just lip combo. This is the RMS Beauty Lip Liner. And I like lip liners that kind of just mimic my natural lip color. That I can just kind of accentuate. See how it's kind of like the so same nice. color as my lips? Never heard of this one. Yeah, these are really, really nice. Really Their stuff nice. Is, is super nice. And then I would go on top of it with the trusty peptide lip treatment. What flavor is that one? This is the salted caramel. See, my favorite is the one that doesn't have the unscented. Yeah. Yeah. Because if not, I feel like I'm eating snacks. <laughs> You've my created favorite. a whole generation of lip obsessives. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> that makes me happy because I'm a lip obsessive. Like I'm obsessed with lip products. It's, it's a treatment, so it's also like nourishing the it lips. It feels like it's, it's good for you. Yeah, yeah. it's good yeah. for the lips, but at the same time, like it gives this kind of nice sheen. So mm. you can kind of like almost dress it up if you want to, but then also it can be really pared down. And it's not sticky, it. which I have like, I know that yeah. lip glosses are like a big thing, especially in America, but I was never able to get into them because I just cannot I stand that. anything that makes me feel like I can tell you're really picky. I'm so And difficult. I'm also really picky. <laughs> I'm so difficult. Which I love because yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. that's the way that I was able to kind of like curate these products because of my pickiness. And I'm like so uber picky about lip 
yeah. rather. I think before moving to England, I think I was a lot more scared of doing like a lip because it feels mm. so sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've really got into it. I think you're to blame. I'm to blame? <laughs> I'll yeah. take that. I I'll think take so. that one. I brought my nice. skin food, which she loves it too. I, I think, honestly, like since trying it, my skin has been so much better. It used to break out a lot more and I'm doing IVF at the moment and I've had like a lot of hormones pumped into my body and it's really affected my skin quite badly. Like, and mm. it's made me feel like a teenager again, yeah. which is just not a nice feeling when you're like 35, which is how old I am. And I have been using this. It really has helped me calm my skin down. Sometimes yeah. it's a bit thick and I have to mix it with something a bit lighter Yeah. when I'm not doing it in the evening. Or like I also use it on other parts of my body, my hands, etc. It also makes for such a nice base for makeup. Like if you're feeling extra dry, like if you need something that kind of like seals everything in and soaks mm -hmm. it in, I feel like that is such a good option. Embarrassingly, I think I found out about this on TikTok. <laughs> which it's the best. shouldn't be admitting anything like that at my age, but I'm sure it's the same for you. Find a lot of beauty tips on TikTok. I think it's a really good oh, It's crazy. So many. That's one of the things that I love about like, you know, the beauty community is I feel like you connect with people on so many different things and like you learn so many different tips yeah. and tricks and hacks. Well, my last one is kind of in a similar vein, but the Barrier Restore Cream. This is our everyday morning and night cream. And the reason I really like this one is because I feel like it's rich, but it soaks into the skin and it's not too much. Mm -hmm. It's good for daytime, it's also good for nighttime. Is this the one that's also quite good when your skin is breaking out? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I... yeah. And also what I like to do with it too, sometimes I mix it with blush and like mm. kind of tap it in to just thin out the blush and give it more of like a second finish. And you do layer them sometimes, right? I do layer them, that, that would be how I use them regardless. So like I would do, you know, any like, toner essence underneath and then yeah. I would do this and this and then maybe like skin food over top <laughs> to kind of seal everything in if I'm feeling a little bit more dry which I do love doing and I use the skin food for that a lot cool. with that being said that being said like that was our five and five thank you for listening to our rambles about beauty <laughs> products and we hope you enjoyed and learned something new maybe yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and we had so much fun see you soon bye